this is I've Got Scars, baby. So, why do you feel like compassion just in general is something that is important? And I know you say as, as the big sister, the mama figure, do you feel like that's a, a person has to be in that kind of role to, to express compassion? Or do you feel like, like how does somebody find that within themselves in, in a situation like this? You see what I'm saying? How do you find that? Um, personally, I feel like we all, none of, we're all imperfect people. We've all gone through something. We've all gone through something that if we could go back and change, we probably would have. Mm -hmm. And we all needed that one somebody to help us get through, regardless of who it was. It could have been a teacher. It could have been anybody. You know, I even think about today with the stuff that we see going on with kids shooting and gang violence and all of this stuff. If you dig deeper, they all have a story. Mm. There's something deeper there. Mm. You, know? Mm -hmm. you know, it's like it's like one thing causes something else. So your story may not be my story. And you may be sitting thinking, oh, I could never do that, you know, to my brother. I actually had someone just last week. There was a guy putting up curtains because we had just moved doing a hardware. He asked me about the book and I was telling him about it. And he said, you know, I have brothers and we fight, but I would never do that. You never know what you would do unless you're in that situation in the heat of the moment. Your story may not be my story, but think about your story. Think about that experience that you've had and how you could have gone back in and made it different. Yeah. You know, you just don't know. Yeah. And I think, I think you're right about that because it could have been a situation like I saw a movie and a guy was being aggressive toward the other guy. Mm -hmm. And all he did was like push him off of him. Something. So and he fell and hit his head in a certain way and passed away. So I, I, I hear what you're saying. And, and I, I like this idea of putting yourself in the situation and saying, just what if you were in the situation? Instead of saying, consciously, I would never do that. I think that's what people think when they say I would never do that. They think consciously, I would never do that. And mm -hmm. I imagine that so many people consciously would not do whatever mm -hmm. it is that they're doing, but they've done it. Right. And it might have been an accident. It might have been something that really was unintentional. They didn't mean for it to go and escalate this far. Mm -hmm. But it, it has happened. So I think that's really important for people to understand. Um, let's not say what you won't do because you don't know. And even if you didn't, even if you wouldn't do it on purpose, accidents could happen. 